This is the Just Live Podcast with Dan and Susie Potter, episode 83. (laughs) Who are your people? And how are you connecting with them? We begin in 22 seconds. Your life is a remarkable story and adventure that only you can create. We exist to motivate and equip you to live fully alive. Welcome to episode number 83 of the Just Live podcast with Dan and Susie Potter. This is five star review part five. So we've already talked about the spirit of the heart, the mind, the body, and today our focus is people, people, your people. People, and we're broadcasting live today from our backyard garden. Because our backyard garden is full of things like, over here's an apple tree, right there are blueberries, right there are kayaks, right there are plums, and down there are peaches. And right over here on our back porch, we hang out with people. We invite them back and have really great chats and snacks and sometimes a whole meal back here. So it's a great location to talk about our people. Our life is about people. My name is Dan. And I'm Susie. Together Together we we are doozy. What? are your relationships with people like? Have you stopped and asked that? Have you stopped and actually done an evaluation of where are we when it comes to people? COVID messed up a lot of things. It messed up this, I'm gonna just drop over to their house or whatever, the social distance is a bad idea. And uh, it, it was for a while, but we're back at conquering the negative effects of that. So we actually take time to evaluate how are we doing with people. So and we give ourselves five stars yep. if we've done really, really well. So this five-star review, if you haven't followed the previous four podcasts, the previous four areas, just a shout out to, to listen to the one on spirit, heart, mind, and body. Those are the previous episodes before this one that you're currently listening to. But what you do essentially is come up with five values that you as a couple hold, or if you're doing this just as an individual, what are those values that you think are important to you? And you come up with five of them, and then each week you rate them. And we're gonna share our top five values in the people area, and feel free to use ours and change them however you need to, if they apply to you. But we'll just unpack ours and let you see how it goes. Imagine, if you would, you're a little kid, you're standing next to the river or the lake, probably the lake, You pick up a little stone, you toss it out, boom, and it lands in the water. Suddenly there's ripples coming out. There's small little circles, and then there's larger circles. When we look at our people, that's the way we start. We start by looking at the, the really tight little ring, and then we watch the ripple come out from that. Our tight number one uh, star is us. Is us. Us too. Us we, as we're a people. couple. There have been weeks of our Dan life. Dan for me and me for you. There have been weeks of our life where we have been so busy that we did not do us. We didn't do us. We didn't value the connection that we have. The um, We try to have uh, intentional connections and rhythms every day. We have at least three minimal rhythms to make sure that we're intentionally connected each day. And we try to have a weekly date and a weekly adventure because that is building the people who marry each other called Dan and Susie. So part of our weekly evaluation is to say, did we do us this week well? And I would say this week for sure we get a star. We have been having some really deep chats about things we've been thinking about. Sometimes the people overlaps with spirit, heart, mind, and body, and it's the it's our people and for sure this week that was a combination effect for us i think do you think we get a star this week i think i think so we have invested in each other we have grown us together as a unit our second value is our family so we live now in the seattle area and we moved here almost three weeks or three years ago it seems only three weeks (laughs) 
three years ago to be close to family. I was post-COVID, as Dan was saying. We were very isolated for a very long time. What we do with our work and our ministry allows us to travel from anywhere. We have to have an internet connection and be able to be near an airport. And our family so lovingly said, we don't want to grow up without you and we don't want our kids not to know you. Please move out here. So we made the huge change. We jumped everything into a van, a, a big van, a, a huge van, a nightmare sized van. And for seven days, drove it on over here, not having a house yet to live in after we sold our house in the Georgia area. And we moved here. And the reason was for family. So that uh, was a very difficult move for us. We're still just kind of finding our feet in it, but doing a decent job in that. But it's because of family. And so whenever there's something going on with the family, a phone call, an opportunity to have a lolly and pop day, that's our grandkids. We do that every Thursday whenever we're home and they're home. So we invest in them every week. We try to have family parties, family get-togethers, etc. So we invest in family and we love those opportunities to have that time together. So did we get a star this week? Yes, we definitely get a star. We had a good lolly and pop day on Thursday, and it was the 4th of July at the time of this recording, uh, last Thursday. And so we had a family pic picnic at Josiah and Laura's house, and the whole family was there together. We loved those moments, and we were able to spend quality time eating great food and playing fun games. One thing about the Potter family, we should just say, is that um, the girls who have married in, they always have big laughs because every time we have a game, and it was slip and slide the other day, we always, as a Potter family, and they notice that we maximize that space. We make the we make the game bigger than it even that anybody ever thought there was capacity to have. So different things with like um, blow up rafts and running and three people at the same time and four people and pulling with the rope and it was just really great fun. So yes, we get a star for this well, week. Well, it, it's bigger than that though because it, it also can include phone calls to our parents or to our siblings. Uh, our family's bigger than just those in Seattle. So we actually evaluate, did we actually make those connections as well? The third star has to do with us as relationship third mentors. Value. We have a lot of couples that we do life with regularly. Um, we, we we meet with them on Zoom. If we can, we meet with them live. We, we do the journey of life with them. They're our people and they're very, very close to us. And, we share things vulnerably with them and they share with us. We take time each week to say, were those connections good? Were those quality healthy? connections? Were they quality? Yep. Were they intentional? Did they meet the need of those people? How did we do as relationship mentors in connecting with our people? And this week, I think we had probably six to eight of those and I would say yes we get a star because uh, I love that but it was really a healthy time. We love that that's for sure. Our fourth star, fourth value is what we call table time mm. and this is a time we notice that as we eat together with our people, with friends, with people we don't know yet there is a different level of connection that happens. So we have designated Monday, Monday. as our table time to table invite Monday. people over. Uh, we usually have our Fully Alive Revolution, Amazing Monday, that happens earlier so we can hit the other parts of the world. And so we have Monday evening available and we have been doing table time with friends. And we just invite sometimes two people together, sometimes a couple, a family, a few singles, whoever is visiting, or we just make, we're like, who will we have well, in, next week? In Michigan, where we're from, uh, that was a very normal part of our life growing up to have people in the house. Table time. It's, it's not so much part of the culture here. Uh, in Poland, it was definitely we love people that. over. So not only do we want to do it because we're connected with people, it's part of who we are yeah. to have people in our home. Share life, share food. It's not always elaborate food. Sometimes it's very simple, but there is something that happens when we sit around a table and we eat together. Sometimes we move to the couch for part two of chat or whatever. If you're sitting there and you want to come over, let us know. I'll at least have crackers and cheese. Yeah, if we're if we're if you're anywhere near Seattle, 
and want to connect up with us, we definitely will do whatever it takes to make that possible. I'll actually fire up the grill. I might even make my famous waffles Ooh. for you. We have many options. Curry has been the Curry. latest that's Curry's been a been really good. wonderful meal that we get to share with people as well. So good. table time, how's that going that's this good. week? Oh, I think we... Do we get a star this week? No, we cancel it because you hurt your shoulder. Yeah, I hurt no my shoulder. Star. So no star for this week. No so star. We're down to we're down to three oh. stars so far of our five. Ooh, we better people it better. That's life. That's life. The the fifth star has to do with input output. We didn't know how to do this really with the with the the rings and ripple out, but we actually have to take time to say, did we take time to have others input into our life? Learning. And did we take time to output to others? Yep. So that may be through podcasts or through a book or through a conversation yep. or through a message that we heard. Uh, but did we take time to hear from people? And did we take time to contribute into the fully alive life of another human being. Yeah, so I'm a nurse, and one of the vital functions on every shift that I had, or any time I checked a patient, was input and output. So, like, how much are you usually drinking, and how much is coming out liquid-wise, if there's some kind of a container, number of times you went to the bathroom, for example, or if um, there's a catheter, then you can exactly see that. And input and output, maybe that's too much information. Way but too much. That I is, wasn't even thinking about that. Well, that's what it, that's what it, I, when I think of input, I think of output because what comes in will come out. So wait a so second, when so people come over to our house, do we check their input and output? Well, no, this is our stars. These uh, are our values. Okay, okay. We really value taking in and having output connected to, to our people. And I think it makes total sense. If it does, send us a message and let me know. You're like, Susie, you're so weird. I am. I, I think of all these biological crazy things, but tis life, right? This is who I am. <laughs> I had no open. idea in this week's episode we'd be talking catheters. It just didn't <laughs> didn't even register. It's not on the list that I thought we were going to be talking about. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully... You got me, babe. This week we did get a, a star for in this area because it was a good week for input, output. Susie loves listening to this stuff and downloading. I've been creating learn, stuff. Learn, learn. I'm writing a new book, input, output. So I think on, on this area of people, we got three stars out of five. Only which, three? Which is good. What did we also miss out on? I thought you I said, thought we said four out of five. Oh, I thought you we said... We just didn't have table time is the only thing. We didn't have table time. Okay, anyways, I think we have four stars out four of five. Four stars. See, it grew. Even as you're listening here, <laughs> it grew. So this five-star review, this is part five of this five-part series. The stars represent values that we have in the five areas. Spirit, heart, mind, body, and people. And ideally, you're going to have five values that you choose in each of those areas. And then you just evaluate it on a weekly basis. We really encourage this for couples. You get to choose those values. And once again, if you have repeated weeks, for example, we didn't get a star in table. That is a value of ours. But if there were repeated weeks where we didn't have table time, we didn't Put it in our schedule we couldn't find the people we didn't value it that might be a time to replace that value with something that is actually or to a get value. serious about it or to get serious so it's not like you failed but it's a check-in with yourself as a couple to see we said we chose these values are we living them out and if not we should have a conversation about why not and put into action what's going on so what are your people values. Can you give a star to those things? Can you not just say it, but actually do it? Put it into your week. I hope you can. And just remember this, a catheter is not a value. <laughs> May you live fully alive as you love your life, your world, and your God. My name's Dan. My name is Susie. Together, Together we, we are, are doozy. doozy. Live fully. And love fully. And just a live side fully. note, uh, just a live side fully. note, we are live in fully. process of creating a little booklet that you as a couple can have for this five-star review. More information coming soon. We have found this so valuable as we practice it ourselves and we've checked with some of the couples that we're mentoring at the moment and they agree this will be a great tool for people to have. 
So when that is available, we will let you know. And if you are like, oh, help me out. I really want to have this little booklet, this little tool for us as a couple. Please just send us a note and we'll keep you on the list of information coming out. The first five people who order one get a free catheter. Oh! No, <laughs> not true, not true. Scratch that. Anyway, live fully this week. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode number 83 of the Just Live podcast. Have an amazing day. Bye.